Projector. In this video we will look at some of the best 4K projectors on the market. Before we get started with our video we have included links in the description, so make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Samsung The Premier. The next generation of living room projection, after more than a decade since its last home cinema projector, Samsung has exploded back on the scene with the Premier LSP9T projector. This ultra-short throw beamer makes use of 4K HDR laser projection, with a three-color laser removing the need for a color filter and therefore allowing the Premier's 2800 lumens brightness to really shine across a max 130-inch image. Pictures are punchy and colorful, and Samsung's world-first introduction of the HDR10 Plus format, which adds in scene-by-scene -scene picture calibration and compatible films and TV shows. This projector also benefits from full implementation of Samsung's smart TV operating system, which, if a bit sluggish at times, is incredible to have on a projector over the basic and poorly organized interfaces we're used to. At Number 2. Epson EH, TW9400. A superb long throw a home cinema projector for the price, we gave this Beamer 5 stars for its impressive color reproduction, HDR support, and 2600 lumens brightness, making for bright and impactful images. While this isn't a native 4K projector, something you just don't get at this price, even upscaled images are detailed and come across well, with highly natural skin tones and an impressive amount of shadow detail. Blacks could be deeper, and motion could be smoother, but there's really little to complain about here. The EH, TW9400 boasts advanced capability all around, from its 3D compatibility to motorized lens controls, the latter point allowing for real precision and an easy setup. There's even a lens cover to prevent dust from creeping in. At Number 3. XGI MI Halo. The ultimate home theater on the go, though you won't get 4K, the XGI MI Halo is a great shout for anyone after a portable projector that doesn't give up on quality pictures entirely. This stylish, compact, and capable projector is easy to take with you on the go, with built-in 5W speakers and 1080p Full HD resolution to offer both sight and sound. You're getting 800 lumens max brightness while plugged in, though this does drop to 600 lumens when running on battery, fine for dark, outdoor settings, though you'll undoubtedly fare better with the former setting. Regardless, the battery life is long enough to watch an average-length movie. There's no native Netflix support, sadly. Something that also plagues the XGI MI Horizon Pro, but complaints are few and far between for the Halo. At Number 4. Bank TK700 ST. High frame rate HDR gaming on your wall, if you're looking to lay a big load of cash on a projector, you can't go wrong with a Bank TK700 ST. If you're buying it for gaming, then that endorsement is even stronger. This unit supports 4K at 60Hz with an unsurpassed 16 milliseconds response time at that resolution, which is as low as response times get in a native 4K projector. If you want up to 120 inches of bright, crystal clear game on your wall or screen, this sets a new benchmark. You can also push to 120Hz if you're happy settling for HD output. If you're never going to use it for gaming, though, and 4K isn't a big deal to you, you can probably settle for something less expensive, like the Optoma UHD38. At Number 5. Anchor Nebula Capsule II Mini. A tiny, quality home cinema projector that doesn't cost much, some projector were meant to be portable, and few do it better than the Anchor Nebula Capsule II Mini projector. About the size and shape of a can of Coca-Cola, the tiny projector looks more like a battery pack for a piece of AV equipment than an all-out projector, but those looks are deceiving. The Capsule II is very capable for its size, offering a 720p HD resolution and strong audio output, and a noticeable improvement on 2018's Anchor Nebula Mars II, even if it can compete with the more premium 4K HDR models listed in this guide. Given its size, we were pleasantly surprised to find a fully sized HMDI port, too, rather than the mini HDMI alternative, as well as a USB port and USB-C charging port, allowing you to power the projector while connecting to a streaming stick like the Roku Express or Amazon Fire TV stick. Thanks for watching and that's all for now I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time see you guys later.